show me you care, and stop the bloodbath. Let's bring in Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders. I mean, it is deft. The former president now flipping bloodbath and making it about Biden's border policies. We're seeing these hoaxes fall one by one by one. How would you assess the Biden campaign? Well, I think that they are in desperation mode, and I think it's clear. I will say I finally found something that I agree with CNN on. I don't know that Joe Biden is personally involved in his administration. <laughs> right. I'm not even sure if he knows he's president most of the time. Yeah. And But what I do know is that his team and his administration are screwing up literally everything they touch. We had a strong economy under President Trump. We had a secure border. We had national security that actually meant something. Our values, the things that matter to Americans were being upheld. Every single thing that they do is at the destruction of our great country. It's why we are seeing President Trump's numbers continue to surge, and they are looking for anything they can to distract from these two people's records. This is a very clear contrast. You have one person who was a president that had a tremendous and successful record, and one that has a record of complete disaster. President Trump is winning because the contrast is clear, and they will look for any and everything they can to distract from that. You uh, need to hear what Trump said about Joe Biden threatening Medicare and Social Security by opening up the border. Listen to this. We are actually becoming, if you think about it, a third world country. And we're not going to let that happen. We're not going to let it happen. So to every Wisconsin voter, if you want to help Joe Biden wheel granny off the cliff, if you want to help Joe Biden wheel granny off the cliff to fund government benefits for legals, then vote for crooked Joe Biden. He's taking the Obama line, <laughs> wheel granny off the cliff, and throwing it right to Joe. And he's exactly right. If we continue to fund and allow illegal immigrants to flood into our country uh, and bankrupt our system, then it's going to be really hard for us to fund programs that are necessary for seniors and for the vulnerable population that already exists in our country. You cannot have a sovereign country if you do not have a secure border. Every single person in this country knows that. But Joe Biden is willing to throw our country away so that he can get more votes by letting people pour across our border. We have an absolute a humanitarian and national security crisis taking place at the border. Uh, just yesterday, I was with uh, some of the bravest, most amazing members of the Arkansas National Guard who are headed to help aid Texas because the federal government is refusing to do their job and secure our border. I'm thankful that we have men and women who are willing to go and serve, and we will continue to do the job if we have to as states until President Trump takes office again uh, and starts to focus on doing his job and actually securing our border. Well, thank you for sending those men and women down there. I mean, every, every little bit counts. And Sarah Huckabee Sanders, you know how much a, of a rumor monger I am. I hear things. Um, I'm hearing <laughs> some things about you and, and a possible ticket. Would that be something you'd be interested in? You know, I will do anything and everything I can to help President Trump get reelected, but I just became governor of Arkansas. I love my job, and I look forward to having it for the next seven years. Wow. That governor's mansion must be really nice down there in Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> you need to come and visit us down in Arkansas, Jesse. We'd love to host you I here. would love to be down in Arkansas. Thank you so much. We'll have to take you up on that. Have a Thanks great night. Thanks for having me. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.